What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and here we are once again with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra and I'm going to place this device on our S353 charging stand which incorporates that factory charger into it and this just gives us a nice little kit for display but also for charging. You can see it works really well here. It starts charging and it presents the watch at an angle that you can easily read it out while it's on that dock. I think that's really cool. And a side note, anything you see in this content, you can access by scanning the QR code in this content. And that'll take you to the Amazon storefront page where you can check out devices and items related to this and other items. So anyways, we're here to talk about the Galaxy Watch Ultra some more by demonstrating how to sync your music from your Android smartphone to it. Now, interesting note, this tutorial isn't only for the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. If you have another Galaxy Watch device, this whole tutorial should work for that device as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in the Galaxy wearable application. Now, before we go any further, you do wanna have music stored locally on your Android smartphone because you do need the music so that you can transfer it to your Galaxy Watch. You'll also wanna download the Samsung Music application from the Google Play Store to your Android smartphone. This appears to make the process a lot easier, plus you've got extra features such as creating playlists that you can then sync to your Galaxy Watch. Now, once those two requisites are met, we can start the process in the Galaxy wearable application here. Now, we're gonna start things off by actually making sure our watch is selected. And you can see mine is selected here, it's showing on the display. But in the event that yours isn't selected, we have this icon here. It's got like two squares in it and two circles. I'm going to just hover over it. If we tap on that, we can look at a list of our devices that are either connected or not connected right now. And then we would select our appropriate one. So in this situation, we would select Leon's Watch Ultra and tap on that. Now, once we've verified that we are connected to our Galaxy Watch Ultra, we're going to scroll down here to show more of the menu at the bottom and we're going to look for watch settings and tap on it. Now this refreshes the page and we're going to scroll down quite a bit until we see manage content right here and then tap on it. Now this is going to refresh the page to a manage content page and there's some interesting things going on here. So first we can see what tracks are already on our watch. I'm going to tap on that and you'll see a list of all the tracks here. This is where we can also delete all the tracks that are currently on the watch. And we could do this by tapping on the three dots in the upper right hand corner right here. And then we can tap on edit. And we can either select tracks individually to add or delete, or we could do a select all at the top here. And we can delete that way at the bottom or add. But I'm going to back out here because I have all my tracks that I do want on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. So I'm going to back out one more time. And this brings us back to the Manage Content page. Now, in order to sync music to your Galaxy Watch, you do want to make sure you have the next feature turned on. That's going to be Auto Sync. You're going to want to tap on the slider here so that it turns blue. And that's going to make sure that Auto Sync is turned on. Now, normally when you turn this on, the synchronization process does start and you'll get a notification in the notification shade letting you know that the synchronization is working. But if it doesn't work, you'll get a pop-up as you see here. And mine says, couldn't add tracks to watch, clear some space on your watch, then try again. I actually wanted to show this because I don't have that many tracks on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. I have about 300 and I show that I do have a lot more space still, but it seems that as of now, the current limit is 300 and I'm not really sure because again, we have all that space. I'm hoping maybe this is just a software issue and Samsung works it out and then we can add more tracks. Now, just to demonstrate this again, I'm going to go to tracks on watch, tap on it, and then tap on the three dots in the upper right hand corner. We're going to tap edit and then select all tracks. And you can see again that I have 302 tracks. And again, I have plenty of space on my Galaxy Watch, so I should be able to sync more, but for some reason we can't. Just something I wanted to point out. So again, I'm going to back out here 
and then we're going to go to playlist sync and this is where having the samsung music application comes in handy here i'm going to tap on playlist to sync now within samsung music the application from the google play store that's downloaded onto our android smartphone i've created these playlists and whatever I select will sync to the Galaxy Watch Ultra, ideally if I have the good amount of space that we need. And if I'm under 300 tracks, again, I'm hoping that this changes in the future, but this is why you wanna use the Samsung Music application. Now, once everything is selected that you do wanna sync playlist wise to the Galaxy Watch Ultra, we're going to tap done. And this once again will start a synchronization process. And again, you'll see here we get that pop up, couldn't add tracks to watch, clear some space on your watch, then try again. So I'm going to tap OK. But the main point is here, once you actually have an empty device and you enable auto sync or you edit playlist to sync after the auto sync is enabled, you'll start the synchronization process. As for actual synchronization, again, we're limited to 300 tracks and I don't really know why I'm going to look more into this, but syncing the actual 300 tracks doesn't take long. I would say maybe five to 10 minutes or around there. So it's not too long. And also once you sync tracks to your Galaxy Watch Ultra or comparable Galaxy Watch, you may want to connect your Samsung Galaxy Buds to this device as well. And I've covered that in another tutorial, which I'll link in this video in the corner of the video with a card. Feel free to click that card to see that video and learn how that works. That is really handy if you want to listen to your music on your Galaxy Watch. Maybe you're going running, but you don't want to lug around your actual smartphone. You want to cut down on weight. So that is an excellent solution. But that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.